So can he pull it off? That's a question. Can she balance economics and military and his country's traditional society? I put that question to Brantley Womack, who's a scholar with the Miller Center and professor of foreign affairs at UVA. He thinks it's going to be super tricky, he told me, especially on that societal front. I'm looking at China, and they have been full steam ahead for the past several decades, economically, militarily. Uh, what do you see as the next endeavor? In my mind, it might be cultural. Essentially, the, the material world of China has transformed over the last generation. So uh, how do you live with that? You know, it's hard enough uh, in our fairly wealthy society to adjust to Internet or or social media or whatever, but imagine coming from the situation of China at the beginning of the reform era where 80% of the population was rural, uh, people lived hand to mouth, and uh, they developed habits of very hard work in order to survive, uh, and uh, habits of taking care of themselves uh, and those worked for them during the, the generation in which 10% uh, growth was not unusual. Can communism survive in this country that is so in touch with the outside world, that does have social media now, uh, that can't clamp down the same way as it did in the late 80s with something like Tiananmen Square? Uh, all this emphasis on markets and people getting wealthy and all the inequality, uh, you know, these are things that... Uh, are, have been produced by an ideology that outgrew the original communist ideology. And the question is, can those institutions of communism, the Communist Party, can they uh, keep flexible and grow with it? The U.S. has for decades and decades now prided itself on being the biggest and best and brightest and strongest and richest. Is there some point that we could uh, feasibly see China in many of those respects overtake the U.S.? The thing to remember is scale. China has four times the population. If China's a a total production is the same as the U.S., that means that the production per person is one quarter of U.S. production. So that does that mean that Chinese work four times harder than Americans? No. no. You know better than that. Uh, but it does mean that they're working with less capital. They're working with less uh, output, uh, less value in their output than Americans. One quarter is one quarter. You know, that leaves 75 percent more per hour that American workers are producing. So and if we talk about China being a big economy, yes, it's the biggest. So we talk about China being a rich economy. Uh, 50 years from now, the U.S. will still be significantly richer than China, meaning per capita wealth, uh, regardless, even if China and the U.S. keep their current growth rates. I loved talking to him. Professor Walmack was just so smart.